Hello traders, today we're going to cover some Ninja Trader chart setups. I'm going to show you how to increase the candles, the wicks, change some colors around. This is actually brought to my attention from our students who requested I go over the uh, chart setup. So to start off, what we have here are the uh, trade scalper indicator as well as the roadmap. So what you're seeing here are the signals for today. But let's say that you want to increase the wick that you see here maybe a different color a little darker right click on the chart and choose data series and what we're going to do here is see these properties and these settings now besides the fact that you can change from a five minute chart to for example a tick chart or a range chart you may want a minute chart as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the wick size and the body of the candle. So I come down here to this section where it says chart style. And if I click on this little drop down menu here, this arrow here, this is actually going to give me a few other options to say the wick. How do I want to see it? So if I inc increase that, let's say to five, I uh, click that and you can see how that changes just the um, the size and the outline now this is dramatic right obviously i'm not going to keep it that way unless you want to keep it that way you can also change this is the body outline this is the candle wick let's say i want to make the wick a little bit stronger here is um, that also a little bit thicker there so i make that a little bit thicker let's say just like that Let's say I want to change the color for down bars and color for up bars. Let's say I don't like the green. I like to see blue instead. So if I do that, you can see that it changes the color to blue. So there's a lot of uh, different settings here that we can customize the way the candles look. You can click OK, but it won't remember this is what you want, right? It'll remember only uh, that you did it for this moment in time. So let me go back and click here this last part which is preset save and when you do that it remembers that this is how you would like to see the way the candles and the thickness of the bars look so I'm going to change this back to green so I think it was lime green here click apply and I'm going to click here save and that way it remembers every time I bring up the chart this is the way that I want it to look whether it be one minute or let's say five minute I always can have this set and saved the way I want it to look. Now besides that, we see here a couple other options. Uh, the visual, the auto scale, I usually have that checked. I don't check the center price on scale. I like to see it go up and down. I don't like to have the actual candles centered. I like to see them go up or down, not just always staying in the middle. Everything else I pretty much leave defaulted. Now you have this last option here called uh, plot executions and so plot executions basically uh, is indicating when you have a trade whether it be a simulated trade or a live trade or if you're doing the autopilot do you want to see the actual orders buy and sell at that price when they occurred so text and marker would do that it's a common question usually do not plot uh, doesn't show the actual orders sometimes it clutters up the chart with too many orders and so you would want do not plot or if you want to use text and marker or just marker so those are the the options for changing the candles the wick the thickness the colors now you see here on the right hand side of the chart the values the font the numbers the pricing the time the scale right click on the actual uh, time here either on the right hand side or just below and you'll see here a couple of options so there's properties and if I click down here there's also properties so when I click on that this is a different setting for just the way the font and the chart looks. so you can see here chart background um, is in black the crosshair labels the text Personally, I increase the font size because as we get older, we may want to see the numbers both on the right hand side for the pricing as well as the, the time scale here on the bottom a little bit larger. So personally, I increase it. I make the, uh, the font size a little bit larger 
and remember click apply and so now you see that this is larger or you may want to change the font itself let's say you want to change it to I don't know, Calibri let's say and I click apply you see that it changes that so I like to use um, the Arial and I like to use about 18 as the size of the font 18 pixels um, the only other thing that I do here in this section is the right side margin the right side margin is this space between the last candle and the scale so I use a hundred pixels um, in that way so for example let me just go here do you see the distance between here and here so when you load up the chart so I just do uh, reload historical data and you see the distance between here and here this is what I'm referring to I like to have a little bit of a buffer a little bit of a space I don't like the candle right up against the edge down here and I go here to the right side margin so I think typically it's like 40 or 50 I don't know what the default setting is but I use a hundred and everything else I use I keep defaulted unless you want to change the way the crosshairs look and the horizontal these little grid lines you can make them or make them disappear altogether the last thing is don't forget to click preset and save that way it remembers how you like it so that's how I set up my chart this is a chart setup uh, one of my students asked earlier today if we can do a video on that so I thought it was a good idea typically I take this for granted because I I know how to work ninja trader and so I just assume that this is common knowledge but for the new traders this may be important now one last thing if I want to increase the the size of the of the chart I hold down the control key and I click the up and down arrow um, and that way it's easier than than coming here to the slider I hold the control key down and I click up or down in the um, on the keyboard for the up and down arrow so control key up and down uh, the other thing you can do is uh, move this up and down with the shift key and you can see that by increasing the um, the thickness of the bodies themselves what I do is I um, hold down the alt key ALT key and then up and down and that does that as well so I don't use this quite that often but it's a little shortcut so alt up and down control up and down and also the shift up and down arrows that's how I am able to shortcut this um, and adjust it how I like on the fly if you have any questions visit daytradetowin.com these are the the orders here this is today that was yesterday this is today short in the afternoon was all shorts for the trade scalper and then long here in the in the mid morning all right, trade scalper and roadmap signals for today if you're interested visit daytradetowin.com and I'll see everyone at the next video take care now